everyone. Happy Saturday to you. I am a mess. My office is a mess and I'm very busy and I'm painting uh, Christmas ornaments. I found these really cute um, snowmen, truck and tree, and angels at Michael's. Um, so that's what I'm doing. What's everybody else doing today? I started this one. I'm going to try and do um, one color at a time. So now I've moved on to, I should have started with the white face and give that a chance to dry, but I didn't. I started with the black. So now I'm going back to faces. So how's everyone doing today? Did you see me this morning? I was up and out the door early to go to Lowe's. Had to get some wood. I built some pallets this morning. I'm doing the... Uh, Pumpkin palette sign. Well, yeah, I guess it's a sign. The wood pumpkin palette with this um, sunflowers on Tuesday night for a paint party. It is almost sold out, which is kind of exciting. But my first sold out party. Woohoo! I was going to do yard work today, but then I signed up for um, a craft fair. The craft fair is next Saturday, so I want to get some stuff done and ready to sell. I have a bunch of fall stuff, but I figured I wanted some Christmas stuff too. If you're just popping on, I'm painting ornaments. Let me move you down a little bit. Um, I have them all laid out. I'm doing snowmen truck and tree, and angels. Don't look at the mess behind me. My workspace is upside down. I started out with the snowman for no particular reason. I'm using my uh, folk art multi-surface paints. I love the plaid folk art paints. They're like the perfect consistency. These are a little rough, um, rustic looking. I could have left them, but I think they're going to be really cute once I'm done with painting them. I really don't think Michael sell these to be repainted, but the price was right, and why not? And the fact that they are uh, rustic and already painted, I only have to do one coat of paint. These guys are going to look really cute with the red. I'm going to make red scarves. You'll see how I add the details. Okay. That's done. I'm going back to black. I move around. So I did the white. Now I'm going to do the black. Give the white a chance to dry so I can go back and add the faces. So did everybody see my story about um, my daughter going to, daughter number two went to pick up supplies from me the other day. I sent her to Target. You might have seen the video already. So I texted her, I said, can you go to Target? And she's like, sure. I had to pick, pick up an order that I had ordered online. So a little bit later she calls me and she's like, they don't have your order. I'm like, what? She said, did you get an email? I said, I didn't get an email, but I looked, I logged in, and it said that the stuff was ready to be picked up. 
So I give her the number, the order number, and I'm reciting it to her, and she's reciting it to the employee, and they can't find it. I'm like, well, I don't know what to say. She's like, all right, we'll find it. I said, I will text you a picture of the order right from the website. So I do that and go about my business. About 45 minutes later, she calls me again, and she says, they can't find your order anywhere. They said, two are in Shirley, and the rest is being delivered. I'm like, delivered? But I needed them for Saturday. When are they being delivered? She's like, I don't know. Then I'm like, wait a second. There's no Target in Shirley. And she goes, Target? I was at Michael's. <sighs> Thank you, honey. Well, there you go. That's why they didn't have my order. I quickly looked in my text to make sure I did, in fact, say Target which I did, thank goodness, because if you've been following me, you know I could have easily said Michael's or AC Moore or something, who knows. So, but no, I had said the right thing. I don't know how she got in her head that she was supposed to go to Michael's. And of course, Michael's didn't have my order. So then I said, well, can you get back in your car and drive a mile down the road and go to Target, please? So she did, and she texted me, she's like, that was easy. Yeah, because they had my order. It was at Target where it was supposed to be. However, now the um, party I was supposed to do today with what she got at Target has been canceled. They had a family emergency. So now poor daughter number two is going to go have to go back to Target and return what she picked up to begin with. So, or maybe I'll just go return it. I don't know. I have to find the receipt. I don't know what she did with the receipt. But it was too funny. Target? I'm at Michael's. Well, I guess that's part of the problem. But I also don't understand how when she showed the employee at Michael's, the copy of my order from their website, it didn't look unfamiliar to the employee, but whatever. Oops, got a little black on there. Gotta be careful with the white. So what's everybody else doing today? What's the weather by you? It's gray here, but it's not that cold. When I went out this morning, I didn't have a jacket or anything. We might go to my nephew's tonight to watch the Yankees. I'm not into baseball. I'm not really into any kind of professional sports. But it's the playoffs and it's a big deal. And there'll be snacks. Snacks are always good, and food is pretty much my number one reason for doing anything most of the time. Can you relate? I bet you can. I was on it. I'm in a, involved in another group. And uh, I, honestly, my first live, I don't even remember what it was or how long ago it was, but I was very nervous. So I totally understand people being nervous about going live, but this other group I'm in, um, people practice going live within the group before they actually do it on their own page like I'm doing now. And this one woman, she was like, oh, I'm so scared. And I have this horrible accent. And I was like, lady, I'm from New York. I'm from Long Island. I have a horrible accent. I think everybody else's accent is pretty cool. 
especially those ones with the Southern and Texan. Hey, y'all. Not making fun. But no, I do know I have a strong accent. I'm almost done with all the black. One more. Well, then I think I will do the scarves because I still want the white on the face to dry as best it can. I'm not really a big fan of craft fairs and I've tried them a couple of times. Um, but this one's local. It's outside um, at the Presbyterian Church around about a mile or two from my house. They usually have a pretty good turnout because I've been to it and I've seen it. So I'm like, what the heck? The spot wasn't that much money. So I figured I would give it a try. But I'm going to have a mad dash this week to get Christmas stuff painted. Because I don't want to just sell fall and Halloween stuff. Or I should say try to sell. Okay. Wash my brush. Got a little black on some of the white. I just want to touch it up first so it has time to dry. <clears throat> Oops, that one wasn't dry yet. If you don't wait for the black to dry, you're just going to end up with gray anyway. So you really have to wait for it to dry. Okay, moving on to the scarves. I might not give the scarves a complete coat of paint. Let some of the white show through for highlight. I'll also go back and add a little bit of brighter white once they dry. But I think that's kind of Cool, just like that. If I was painting this snowman on um, something blank that wasn't already white, I would add white highlights anyway. This way, the white that these were painted um, does it for me. I know my husband will come in here and be like, you missed a spot. It's really cool that these are three-dimensional. See the uh, accent for the hat and the carrot for the nose and the scarf, they're doubled. I'm going to do some of the scarves in blue. So how's everybody doing today? Anybody have any comments, questions? Talk about stuff? This tin, that's for an order. I have to put daffodils on it. 
it's going to be an anniversary present. It was ordered on my Etsy. I'll probably do that later. Just wash my brush again. I'm going to do some blue scarves. Oh, this is a nice color. This is ocean blue. Yes, folk art ocean blue. Looks good with the white showing through. Yeah, I'll show you. Cute. I think I like the blue scarves better. I'm not going to repaint the red ones, but to each his own. Watch that. I'm a mess. Oh, I should have my apron on. I feel bad that my party was canceled today. Um, for that family emergency, not my party, the party I was supposed to um, paint at, but it's also giving me time to get this stuff done. So, I like the way the white's showing through there. My husband was supposed to go, uh, you all know, perfect husband for me. He was supposed to go play golf today. It got canceled with the weather. Um, but he had bought three pork shoulders to make um, pulled pork. So now we will be the benefactors of the yummy pulled pork. He makes great pulled pork. Pulled pork and sauerkraut. I'm just touching up the white now that the black is completely dried because some of them hadn't been dry before and I turned my a uh, little bit gray. That one's going to have to wait. It's still not dry enough. Okay. All righty then. If you want, now that I have the base coats down, I will finish one so you can see what they're going to look like. Just adding a little bit of blue around the edge without getting it on the black. A lot of times snowmen have a little blue tint to them. Like that. 
I need another little scruffy. I'll just use this one. Let me wipe it off. Pick up a little pink for his cheeks. Probably only gonna see one cheek. The nose covers the other one. Orange for his carrot nose. And a little uh, line that you sometimes see on carrots. Okay. And then for the hard part, need a little tiny brush. Need some really inky black. I need to look at eyes. There you go. How cute is that? Okay. I will come back and show you the rest later. Thanks for watching.